All right, you've heard, let food be thy medicine. Well, Trinity Health is really putting that into practice by not only recommending fruits and vegetables to their patients, but they are providing them. I got a chance to visit the farm at Trinity Health in Pontiac. These are collard greens. Collard uh, greens. But when they're the Huge. size of your head. Yes, you can that's a good sign. That's a, a full a, meal right there, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Fresh collard greens at the doctor's office? How does this make sense? Let's go to the source. In the shadows of Trinity Health Oakland Hospital in Pontiac, you'll find the farm. Rows and rows of seasonal produce sprouting up right outside the hospital door. Have you ever uh, seen a, a farm at a hospital before? Absolutely not. Trinity Health primary care doctor Kat Zucker says one goal is to provide fresh produce to patients. We focus on disease states, we focus on treatments, and so much of that needs to be covered that something that falls away is how do you sit and talk to a patient about do eat this food. So much of the messaging that comes from doctors around diet is don't. Don't eat this, don't drink this, don't go to this fast food restaurant. So for us to come to the farm and then bring that produce to our patients and say yes, yes to this, we like this for you. This is good and helpful. So we got another set of hands here. We'll take everybody we can. Sure. And off we go to the clinic. Here you see workers have harvested the day's crops and now it's time to stock the fridge in Dr. Zucker's office, which is placed right by the checkout window. You know, summer is the time for greens and... The winning recipe is a big helping of convenience mixed with a generous dose of knowledge and a sprinkle of enthusiasm. When you look at your plate and you see vegetables that are cooked in a very minimal way taking up space on that plate, that means that that is something that's going to have vitamins, nutrients, fiber. It's going to make you feel full and healthy um, and really be in alignment for what we're trying to do for your health. Low fat, low salt, all of those things. The original farm started at Trinity Health Ann Arbor in 2010, one of the oldest hospital-based farms in the country. The mission for both places is to grow a healthy community through food. Man, the greens that we got this week look so fresh. They'd be great in a salad, and that's exactly the kind of food I would love for you to eat this week. It encourages the patients to get back for their regular appointments and not just come to the doctor when there's a problem. Um, that we're really focusing on getting and staying healthy instead of fixing a problem that's been here because we haven't paid attention to nutrition and health. There you go. It's it's really remarkable to see. So the fridge at Dr. Zucker's office, when someone is checking out after their appointment, they are able to just help themselves to whatever is in season. And the collard greens, so at the beginning of the story, I showed you the collard greens, which is in the kale family, and we just had some yesterday. Um, really super healthy, super inexpensive, and that's something they give you a recipe card because your traditional way of cooking them might not be as healthy, so maybe you can tweak that a little bit. But uh, this is, it's not expensive, but, you know, the vegetables in many cases are free, and it's a way to incorporate all that good stuff. It seems like it could really plant a seed too, you know, yeah. if you see all these ingredients but you not really are the person who's buying them at the grocery right. store, mm -hmm. then you get your hands on them and you realize, you know what, this is easy. I could make a few. Figure out what yeah, to do with I can make a few different choices. Yeah, things like turnips and beets yeah. and stuff that, you're, that you would walk right past in the produce section. Right to the zebra cake aisle. I follow, <laughs> you can't do that anymore. I follow a um, guy on social media, he's a doctor, and he's like, if your doctor does not ask you about your diet when you're in there, then you need to find an, a, a new doctor. When you're yeah. talking about your health issues and mm -hmm. stuff like that, because food can can be used as medicine in some Absolutely. cases. Absolutely. It's super important, yeah. So um, anyway, next hour, we're gonna go back to the farm and I'll talk about a veggie subscription service that you can get on from Trinity Farms. They also incorporate all these other Michigan farms. Hmm. So um, it's something you might wanna think about. So we'll talk about that next hour. All right, usually when the doctor is in, the doctor is here with us, but this time we went to the doctor at the farm. Getting back to the basics of good health, we're talking about nutritious food that grows right there in the ground. Doctors and farmers at Trinity Health working together to get fresh produce into the hands of those who need it. 
You step outside the door at Trinity Health Oakland Hospital and you're standing in the middle of the farm. And it's really just, it's a joy, right? It's, it's so unexpected to walk outside of the hospital and see snap peas and zinnias and, and that you can actually literally get your vegetables here. You can pay for them if you have uh, financial resources, but we can also connect you to free fruits and vegetables if you don't have resources. Amanda Sweetman is the farmer in charge of both this location and the original that's at Trinity Health Ann Arbor. Produce grown year round ends up going to patients or at hospital lobby farm stands or to anyone who wants to sign up for farm share. That's a veggie subscription service. We're working with 24 local farms to bring food in. So we're supporting our small and local agricultural producers. We're bringing that food in and then we're getting it out to members. So if you were a member, you could pick up weekly or every other week. You get your box. We give you recipe suggestions and it's really easy to come pick up. We have a five-day pickup window. And we've got these beautiful sugar snap peas. Can I eat one? Yes, please. I love a sugar snap mm -hmm. pea. They're delicious. Oh, all right. Oh, they are good. Amanda truly believes food can be thy medicine. And we're good if you've broken your arm or you've had a heart attack, but so much of people's health is in those day-to-day -day choices that you make. What did you eat today? How active were you? Did you reach out to a friend for social support? And so the farm is really the place that we get to live our mission of being a transforming healing presence in mind, body, and spirit. And there's a lot to it because just being out there, now it helps that it was a beautiful sunny day, but being out there and planting sometimes, maybe you know this with your own gardening, if you're trying to do gardening or a little container gardening, sometimes just growing food and then being able to eat it is very satisfying. Um, so there's many levels of how this, it's a sustainable food source, it's good for the environment and good for people's bellies. And it gives people a chance to enjoy fruits and vegetables that they might not be able, either able to afford or just might not have access to. Was never a gardener until pandemic, 2020. That's right. Started a garden Growing in my tomatoes. backyard. There is not, this year my backyard is torn up, so it's first year that we haven't done it. Do you miss it? Oh, yeah. absolutely. You there is, out there all the time. There is nothing more satisfying mm -hmm. than sitting there, water in the garden, picking the weeds and then when you finally see the fruit of the, your labor. the, the yeah. tomatoes yeah. or the cucumbers come like uh, freaking raindrops yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? just uh, in mass yeah. uh, it's so satisfying and, and you just eat it every night yeah so uh, it's, really it's awesome stuff.